bon au chocolat with a chocolate base. What? Oh, where is it? Thank you. Whoa! Look at that cross section. Look at this fit, fashion terror. Fight Club. Whoa, dude. Yes, I've been waiting for this friend to come for a while now because he is a wine guy and I'm the one living in Paris and I know little to nothing about wine. So I wanted to try a special type of wine with him. We ordered a natural white wine called uh, Umami, which is mainly the reason why I chose it. And since we're having white wine, we ordered ceviche and, and avocado. No, it's not a asparagus salad and this umami is a petiron naturel which means that it's carbonated so we thought it's carbonated it's natural wine it would taste completely different but it just tasted like white wine ordered another bottle of Riesling and another wine that smelled exactly like whiskey which was fascinating got carried away had another beer and this is me missing my last subway I need to hurry up oh no no On the last hectic day, I visited La Grande Épicerie Paris, which means the biggest grocery store of Paris. It's a bit of a city and a bit of a So they have the rotisserie, the boucherie, and the fromagerie. Yes. Look at this. We have par Parmesan cubes. This whole section smells so good because you can smell the cured ham. Habanero. They have all a chipotle sauce. I love chipotle. But this looks intimidating. What's with this face? This just looks good for no reason. Ooh. More like Japanese, I don't know, what do you call them? Crackers, rice crackers, okay. Ooh, I think these are vegan products. Kebabs and uh, hamburger meat. Oh, the more vegan products we have, the better. Look at this ravioli, dude. They look so fresh. Ah, okay, I'm gonna get one. That's gnocchi. How is it that big? Wow. They have the more traditional type of gnocchi here. The tortellini. Or buff, which is beef tortellini. I really need to lay off the baked goods and sweets, but look at all this. It's like a wonderland of baked goods and cakes and everything. More bread in any convenience store that I've ever seen in Korea. Even in marts and supermarkets. I mean, they have like all sorts of bread everywhere you go. Ooh, that looks good. And behind you, more baked goods. Aha! But of course, they have separate lingerie. They have a cuisine du monde. Cooking up a simple dinner. It's tortellini, or buff, so it's beef tortellini. And these are leftovers from my school. I was in the hot kitchen today, and we had edamame and a mushroom leftovers, so I'm going to put that all together as a simple dinner. Look at how I'm cooking. I don't have anything, I don't have utensils. It's just so botched. And that god-awful noise I'm making, 
hear that? Now pour this in here. Blomp. 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 Mm -hmm. And to top it all off, since this is going in my mouth, nobody else's, I'm just gonna do that. That is a lot of food. I did not intend to make that much. Alright, come out. Hey, it doesn't look half bad. Should I turn on like aesthetic music and act like I made all of this tort tortellini and everything? Tortellini, I made this from scratch. I made the dough. What's this little scoop? Okay, so those Italian dumplings got me hyper fixated on other countries' dumplings, which is the reason why I looked up this place. I ordered the mixed dumplings because I want to try the vegetable dumplings along with the pork dumplings. And to go along with that, I ordered Qingdao, which is one of the best beers in my opinion, and they just gave it to me without asking. Ooh, I think I'm supposed to use this straw to drink out of this. Okay, the vegetable one doesn't have much broth in it. We'll see. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Now this is better. This is the pork one. Two vegetables in a row. And they didn't have anything in them, I was so disappointed. Now we're getting somewhere. Now the next restaurant I went to was a place called Le Nuit de Jean Nun, and they were essentially a noodle place. They sold soup noodles and stir fried noodles, and they got the quintessential pork and vegetable stir fry. I've watched Mikey Chen a little bit too much for me to just glaze on by with the hot chili. I needed to put this in because he said it makes everything taste better. So that's what it looks like, and I'm just heaping piles of red chili in there. And it definitely added a lot of aroma because before I added that, it was more so just like a one note salty sort of dish. And after that, it had more twang, I could say, but it wasn't as impressive as I thought it would be. So I was concentrating more on the wall than anything else. Now, the next place I went to was a recommendation via a true Parisian, and it's called Tricotin. This is au beurre and eggs. eggs. They sell not only Chinese dishes, but also Vietnam-inspired dishes and also Cambodian dishes. We of course had to get the vermicelli soup noodles with pork. It was refreshing to find pork intestine in a dish outside of Korea. It wasn't gamey, it had different sorts of texture, and it added so much umami and flavor to the dish. Along with that, we ordered a few sides, and the most memorable was the fried wontons, of course. And I also remember the pâte de nave au saucis, which means it is made of nave. Nave is very similar to a radish, but the dish surprisingly had a plushy, starchy texture. A very hearty meal overall. And look at me happy with my leftovers over there. Ah. See you guys next time.